On July 29, 2002, ocean explorer Gail Mead steered a miniature submarine to a seamount rising from the floor of the Gulf of Mexico. Salt Dome Mountain is just 16 miles northwest from where the BP Deepwater Horizon well is now gushing oil. Meade found an extraordinary array of life never seen before, life that is now threatened by the disaster in the Gulf. Here is what she saw. Gail Meade, I'd like to ask you first, this dive was in 2002? Correct, yes. And did you know what you'd find on this dive? Absolutely not. This was, um, as far as we knew, virgin territory. As far as I knew, as far as I know, I'm the only person who's actually been there. There has been some ROV um, exploration there before and since, um, but uh, it's, it's virtually virgin territory except for fishermen and, and now, unfortunately, um, whatever oil and dispersant contamination is, has probably occurred in the last month or so. Okay, so could you describe for us what we're actually seeing here at Salt Dome Mountain? What, what we're looking at right now um, is uh, the top of the mountain. Um, there's a school of little uh, cardinal fish, and uh, there, it's just so full and packed with life on top of life. It, it, it took my breath away. This dive was one out of the five years that I worked on the Sustainable Seas Expeditions that made such an impression on me that I, I kept the footage uh, for my personal archive, which is why I had it at my fingertips. Um, those are some banked butterfly fish. Um, a lot of, of uh, reef, tropical sort of reef fish that you wouldn't expect to see necessarily uh, just off of the mouth of the Mississippi. Um, crinoids, those are the uh, uh, sort of elegant things drifting their fingers out into the water column to collect food. And what's coming at them now isn't food, it's poison. And um, those uh, spiral things are wire corals. And again, they collect their food out of the water column. And whatever comes at them in the water column is what they're going to be eating and probably choking on. And about um, how deep is this? Uh, this is on the top of the uh, mountain, of the seamount, is about Oh, between 165 and 200 feet. So still pretty deep. Yes, yes. It's a little bit deeper than most people would go with scuba gear. And the uh, the gift of being able to use the submersible is you can stay pretty much as long as you want and take your time and really stay long enough for the fish to not be bothered by your presence and have them get used to you and just go about their normal activities. Oh, what what kind of fish is this? This is a coney, and I, I love that he changes his colors right there when this uh, uh, squirrel fish pops in next to him. Uh, you see the little stripes kind of pop out a little bit, and I don't know if he's just saying, get away from me, kid, get bother me, but anyway, I just, it's a neat moment. And uh, the moray and all the little cardinal fish around him. Yeah, it was just such a beautiful place, and as soon as I um, realized where the oil spill was and realized how close it was, I mean, the oil spill started, spill, gosh, geyser, um, a mile deep, and this is much shallower than that, but they're still pretty close together, and it's all interconnected, and with the dispersants they're using, it's guaranteeing that the water column is full of stuff, of, of poison, of, of oil, and corrects it. What a name. Which is the dispersant. Yeah. Have you returned to, the, to that same site, um, Salt Dome Mountain? Mm-hmm. We have not. Now, the U.S. Geological Survey did do an expedition there in 2004, and they collected samples, and um, I did see the report that they put out from that, um, but I think that it would be extremely instructive to go back now that this uh, catastrophe has occurred so that we can see what the difference is and um, look, at the, look at the impact over time.